your reaction to getting pulled after the first two goals of the game? Um, I don't know, because I wasn't really thinking too much into it. Obviously, I wasn't playing that well. Made a couple of mistakes early, and you can't have that against a team like this. They're going to capitalize. Um, you know, so Eddie Whitco was suspended, uh, you know, for both of these games. He's obviously one of your be more veteran defenders. Um, what impact did that have on the series, if any? Uh, yeah, Eddie's definitely a strong part of our back end. I mean, we saw that he's been struggling with bad luck this year. I mean, got a concussion, broke his finger. Eddie definitely brings a physical aspect to our defensive core. I mean, we don't have very many big guys that bang the body around, and that's one asset Eddie brings. And it's it's a huge part of our lineup, especially getting the puck out of the, the zone. Eddie can do that for us, keeps everything simple. So, I mean, he's definitely missed, but Colin Hurley did his job this weekend. He played simple and did what he needed him to do. Andy, Joseph, is it fair to say that uh, Mike, Coach Eves, has, has reached his limit, that his patience has run out with, with this team? I think so. I mean, um, obviously, it wasn't 6 0, and it's very frustrating. Um, you know, we only have two wins on the season, and um, you know, but I give him credit. You know, he's not giving up on our team. Our coaching staff isn't. None of the guys in the locker room are giving up. So, you know, we're gonna get right back to work and get ready for Minnesota. Yeah, Andy. Brad Mike said that he's drawn a line in the sand. That tonight was the night that every from here on in accountability is the key. That that's gonna be the deal. Is is that something that's been missing? Have have you been curious why that line has been drawn? before this point? Uh, I mean, accountability is something we've talked about all year long. I mean, guys know what is expected of them every night. I mean, we've had talks on what each guy can bring to the lineup every night, and we see spurts of it here and there. We just don't, we don't have it consistently each night. I mean, it starts, it can, you can start here with the senior core. I mean, we've got a lead for the other younger guys that are looking up to us too, so some consistency comes from us too, but it's time for them to fill their roles too. They, Young, more, the word young, we're not big fans of that word, so. Andy on the left. Joseph, after last night's game, you obviously wanted to kind of right the ship tonight, but right from the start, they seem to be right on you guys. Can you explain the slow start in the first period again? I don't think I have a, you know, direct word for it. I think they got, you know, a quick bounce and just one after another. Anytime you go down 4-0, it's pretty frustrating the first period. Um, but our mentality in the locker room was just to keep going, keep the energy up on the bench. And I think, to our credit, we kept doing that. I know you can't see that on the ice, but you know we felt it. Um, no one's giving up in the locker room, and we're getting ready for Minnesota. Andy, Joel, when you came back in to start the second, you seemed to be emotional. I mean, you seemed to really be energized by by the whole circumstance. Is that a fair assessment of what was going on? You seemed to really want to get back into it, kind of take things over. Yeah. Um, getting pulled and letting your team down like that. I wanted to come out and make some big saves and not let any in. Uh, but obviously it didn't happen, but yeah, you can say that. Joe, what was, what was Mike's message to this team after this game? Um, just kind of, uh, we gotta, we gotta quit making excuses. You know, nobody's young anymore and we can't be saying that everybody's got to bring in every night from goaltending to our forwards to our young guys to our old guys. We can't be inconsistent like this. Um, we just got to figure it out pretty much. Any further questions?